Listening test instructions. The listening test is about 50 minutes. There are six parts in listening test. You will have about six minutes to listen to each passage and answer the questions. The passage will be played once. Unfortunately, I missed the concert last night. You will hear a conversation in three sections. You will hear each section only once. After each section, you will hear two or three questions. You will hear the questions only once. Choose the best answer to each question. I have an appointment with Dr. Clark at 8.30. Let me pull your record. What's your name? Laura Nicholson. Here we are. What are your reasons for seeing Dr. Clark today? Well, lately I have been feeling tired, and occasionally I have had really bad headaches and an upset stomach. On top of that, I have had this persistent cough for the last two weeks. When did you start having these symptoms? I started feeling tired about two months ago. Then, a little bit after that, the headaches came. I got the upset stomach long before feeling tired. Are you taking any medications? Only my multivitamin tablets and extra vitamins and extra vitamin C every day. Okay, let me take your vital signs. How am I doing? Everything is good. Normal blood pressure and no high temperature. Please wait here for a minute. Dr. Clark will be with you in a moment. Thank you. What is a patient suffering from? What is the primary checkup reveal? You will hear the second section of the conversation shortly. Good morning, Laura. I see here that you started feeling tired two months ago, and then you started having bad headaches. You also have had an upset stomach and a persistent cough. Did you run a fever, too? No, doctor. Let me do a quick physical checkup. Please take a deep breath, hold your breath, and exhale. Okay. Were there changes in your diet or your weight lately? I ate the usual things, but I lost five pounds recently. Did you suffer from insomnia? Well, it is pretty hard for me to fall asleep when I go to bed. I also wake up many times during the night. Do you drink or smoke? No. How are things at work? There was a, there was a change of ownership three months ago, and I had to work a lot of overtime, even during the weekends. How much weight did Laura lose? What is the meaning of insomnia?
What was the problem at Laura's workplace? It looks like you are probably under stress from changes at work, and the stress has caused headaches, upset stomach, and sleeplessness. I am going to give you a prescription for your upset stomach and cough. Are you allergic to any medications? Not to my knowledge. Okay. Take this medication three times a day after you eat. Also, I want you to gargle thrice a day and do some meditation exercises. Can you suggest some books to read so that I can calm my mind? Yeah. You can refer to the books kept at the reception. Just don't stress yourself and come back to see me again if the symptoms persist. Everything will be okay. Thank you, doctor. What did the doctor prescribe medication for? What did Laura ask suggestion for? When would Laura visit the doctor again? You will hear a conversation followed by five questions. Listen to each question. You will hear the question only once. Choose the best answer to each question. Hey Linda, how are you? I'm good, what about you? I am perfectly fine. It is really good to see you after a very long time. Where have you been for so long? I went to Los Angeles for my internship. What about you? I am planning to join an MNC soon. I have an interview lined up for next week. That's good. What are you doing these days? I'm into my dad's business. But what I remember is that you always wanted to become a model, and I believe you were working hard for that. Yeah, you are right. I was actually aching for that. But my father said that I should take over his business as I am the only child. So basically, you are abiding by your father's wishes. Yes. I have realized that it's my turn to give a hand to my father. I am really impressed by you. You have actually turned into a mature person. What are you doing here in Manchester? I am shopping for some new clothes. Hey, what do you think of this dress? Hmm, well... You have always looked fabulous in pink. Moreover, its floral print is very appealing, so go for it. Thanks, Kevin. You have always had great taste in clothes. Well, this is a small world. We must keep in touch. Here's my number. Call me whenever you're free so we can meet over dinner sometime. For sure. Take care and bye. Where did the two friends meet after a long time?
What has Kevin planned for his future? Did Linda always want to join her father's business? What did Linda appreciate about Kevin? Why did Kevin ask Linda to call him? You will hear a conversation followed by six questions. Listen to each question. You will hear the question only once. Choose the best answer to each question. Hi, I'm new here. I couldn't come to the student orientation, and I'm wondering if you can give me a few quick pointers about the library? Sure, I'd be glad to. What's your major area of study? Latin American literature. Okay. Well, over here's the section where we have language, literature, and the arts. If you go downstairs, you'll find the history section. Okay, so how long can I borrow books for? Our loan period is a month. We also have an interlibrary loan service. What's that? If you need to get hold of a book that's not in our library, there's a truck that runs between our library and a few other public and university libraries in this area. It comes around three times a week. Hey, that's great. Is there a place where I can bring my computer and hook it up? Sure. There's a whole area here on the main floor where you can bring a laptop and plug it in for power with a connection for the internet at every seat. Nice. So I can have all the resources, books, and information I need right here in one place. Yep, that's the idea. I'm sure you'll need photocopiers, too. They're down the hallway to your left, but you'll need to buy a cash card from the front desk. How much do you charge? Seven cents a copy. That's not bad. Thanks. Uh, uh, where's the collection of rare books? Rare books are up on the second floor in a separate room where the temperature is controlled to preserve the old paper in them. You need to get special permission from the management to access them. And then you'll have to wear gloves to handle them because the oils in our hands, you know, can destroy the paper and gloves prevent that. Okay, thanks. You've been very helpful. Thanks. Anytime. Why does the student come to the library? What does a student feel about the interlibrary loan service?
What are the facilities available at the main floor? What does the student need to do before he can use any rare books? What is the prerequisite for using the photocopier? What is the loan period for books? You will hear a news item once. It is about 1.5 minutes long. Then five questions will appear. Choose the best way to complete each statement from the drop-down menu. The maiden voyage of the White Star Liner Titanic, the largest ship ever launched, has ended in disaster. The Titanic started her trip from Southampton for New York on Wednesday. Late on Sunday night, she struck an iceberg off the Grand Banks of Newfoundland. By wireless telegraphy, she sent out signals of distress and, se and several liners were near enough to catch and respond to the call. Late last night, the White Star officials in New York announced that a message had been received stating that the Titanic sank at 2.20 yesterday morning after all her passengers and crew had been transferred to another vessel. Later, they admitted that many lives had been lost. An unofficial message from Cape Race, Newfoundland, stated that only 675 have been saved out of 2,200 to 2,400 persons on board. This was in some degree confirmed later by White Star officials in Liverpool, who said they were afraid the report was likely to prove true. Assuming that only 675 of the passengers and crew have been saved, and taking the smallest estimate of the number of people on board, the disaster is one of the most awful in the history of navigation, for at least 1,500 lives have been lost. Officials from White Star Line, the British shipping company which owned the RMS Titanic, issued one last statement ensuring the safety of all on board. However, this was soon superseded by a second statement admitting that lives have been lost.
you will listen to a two minutes video. Then eight questions appear. Choose the best way to answer each question. My wow. people, my people are here. <laughs> Two lucky people. You you beat out hundreds of actors for this. I mean, like that. There, everybody wanted to be a part of this movie, and the two of you got. You must be thrilled with yourselves. <laughs> yeah, well, we're very blessed. We're yes. very blessed to be here and uh, grateful, and we hope people like the film. Yeah, I think yeah, I think they will. Yeah. I think it's going to do very well. All right. And were you fans of the original? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the original growing up. Um, I think also because it was a movie that me and my brother, you know, loved. It was has everything for everyone. Adventure, drama. Yeah. Um, and of course, Princess Jasmine was one of my favorites. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's kind of surreal. I don't think I've, it's really sunk in yet. <laughs> so when you when you got uh, the role of the genie, mm -hmm. what what were you like? Did you know this was happening? Did well, you know the after first it? The, the first thing? So they called and they said, hey, we want you to play uh, the, the genie, we're doing a live action version of Aladdin. I'm like, nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, Robin Williams, like, smashed that thing, you know? It's like, you, gotta, you have to be careful stepping into, you know, projects like that, you know? So, I, I, at first, I looked at it. Ellen, have some water. Have some, oh, not, oh have some Ellen! Water. Ellen, <laughs> Ellen yeah, she can, is such a good host. Can, yeah, so, yeah. So, she's over in... I'm, I'm looking at her, and she's like, she's looking, and she's trying to be, listen to the story. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> well, we. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That, that could have been edited out, and now, yeah, and now, <laughs> now you've made it entertaining, so it's great. All right, oh, no, so, so you, said, you said no, because Robin it. was... Yeah, Robin, you know, he, he really smashed this role. He revolutionized, you know, what you could do in these kinds of, uh, of movies. So I was listening and listening, and I was like, I, did, I just didn't think I wanted to touch it. And then uh, I started playing with the music, and the music is where I found my in to the genie. Uh, a, a Friend Like Me was the first song that I messed with in the studio, and then I found that sort of hip-hop pop flavor that was sort of... What Robin did was he took his stand-up persona and used his stand-up persona, and I was like, oh, I could just use my sort of uh, Fresh Prince persona and use that, because the genie's been forward and back in time, so you can pull references from anywhere. So I mirrored that, and the pop in was where I saw I could put my own signature while maintaining the nostalgic value. And, and you sing. We know you as a rapper, but then you, you sing in this. Isn't yes, it? I yeah. sing. It's great. It's the first time, yeah. First time we're hearing yeah. you sing. Yeah. Oh, it's great. So, great. so many talents. Yeah. Your brother was obsessed, right, with Will? Yes, my brother <laughs> is the biggest Will Smith yeah, fan. And yeah. I feel like, you know, people say that, they're like, oh, I'm the biggest Will Smith fan. My brother actually has, or had, no, he still has it, yeah. a life-size cardboard cutout yeah. of Will Smith. Before, yeah. you know, before I got this role, yeah. in yeah, his yeah, room, yeah. Yeah. and I would walk...
you will hear a report once. It is about three minutes long. Then six questions will appear. Choose the best way to answer each question from the drop-down menu. It might be hard to believe, but left-handed people make up only an estimated 11% of the population. As child educational psychologist, author, and former UCLA associate professor Charlotte Resnick, who's left-handed herself, explains, this fragment of the population sees the world through a unique lens. When we're left-handed, left-handed, our right brains are usually dominant, and that's where creativity and intuition are centered. So it's often easier for us to be creative than logical. And our brains more easily use both sides of the brain at once. So we have the advantage of also being more flexible in our thinking, she explains. The ability to move between both sides of our body is actually pretty common, accords Resnick. Because we've grown up with the challenges of being different in world, where nearly everything is designed for right-handed people, we tend to be nimble. Even if it's as small as adapting to doors, tools, or scissors, she says we've developed functional solutions for it all. That makes left-handers visible in the office and fast to react. Subtle things are more difficult for us, like opening a door, cutting a piece of paper, even writing left to right. But we rise to the occasion, she adds. One way to look at the contrast between lefties and righties, according to psychologist Yvonne Thomas, Ph.D., is how they approach problem solving. Since left-handed professionals are right-brain dominant, this means they are more likely to follow that creative flow of information or processing. She explains, I never fit in with the general population of therapists and was pushed toward organizing a new way of working with children. I couldn't have done it without being left-handed and having the type of brain we lefties have. Lefties have. Partly because they've always been somewhat set apart from others, Thomas says left-handed professionals tend to work more independently. They can develop a more individual image of themselves rather than an image of themselves as part of a group. As a result, left-handed people can develop characteristics of being more independent and non-conforming than their right-handed counterparts, she explains.